we will solve a problem on torsion here okay so in the last video we derived the uh, important relations and important equations are related to torsion so one is the what is the torque for a solid circular shaft we derived the equation and uh, one more is what is the torque equation for the hollow shaft okay these two equations we derived in the previous video so on the basis of these formulas now today we will solve a uh, problem here okay so first i will read the problem uh, we will analyze then we will start uh, to solve it okay so two shafts of the same material okay the material is given same uh, and same lengths whatever the two shafts are there the lengths are same are subjected to the same torque okay torques are so same for both material uh, both the shafts here same material made up of same material same length and the same torque okay if the first shaft is solid circular section the first shaft whatever it is there it is sol solid circular section and uh, the second shaft is of hollow hollow circular section the whatever the second shaft is there it is hollow it is hollow this is second shaft and this is the first shaft here okay circular section and the second shaft is hollow circular section uh, whose internal diameter is two third of outside diameter he is given about the second hollow the internal diameter its internal diameter is two third two third of the outside diameter okay that is one data he is given and the maximum shear stress developed in each shaft here and here the maximum shear stress developed in each shaft is same it means uh, the whatever the tau maximum here and tau maximum here develop both are same okay uh, what you need to do compare the compare their weights of the shaft you need to compare the weights uh, in terms of the ratios so this is the problem he is given first we will write the uh, data what he is given one by one two shafts of same material same material it means solution first we will write the data same material if same material means their weight density weight density that is i'm denoted by the solid circular shaft is s and hollow shaft is h the suffix h their weight density is same if two material the the material of the solid and the uh, hollow is same then their weight density is same here that is weight density weight density equal to weight density of solid equal to weight density of hollow equal to weight density okay and same lengths same length that is second one is length of solid shaft equal to length of ho uh, the hollow shaft equal to length both lengths are same are subjected to the same torque torque the torque of solid shaft equal to torque of hollow shaft equal to torque okay same torque if the first shaft is solid so i denoted by s uh, circular section it is circular section and the second shaft is hollow i denoted i denoted here h hollow circular section whose internal diameter is 2/3 of out, outside diameter its internal diameter is di capital di in outside diameter is capital d not okay so next data is internal diameter is 2/3 th of external diameter outside diameter and the maximum shear stress developed in each shaft in each shaft. where the maximum shear stress developed it is the outer surface of the both shaft here okay so in both shaft are same so one more data is the shear stress developed in solid shaft equal to shear stress developed in hollow, hollow shaft equal to maximum shear stress okay compare their weights so we we need to find out their weights and we need to compare weight of solid shaft divided by weight of hollow shaft is how much so this is the question so in the data only i'll explain the material is same so the weight density is same for both hollow and solid the next data is given the length of both solid and hollow is same that will be equal to l so next data is the torques for both the solid and hollow uh, it is same it is t 
So next in case of hollow shaft, the inside diameter is two third of outside diameter. And next, the maximum torque developed in both the shafts is same. That is tau. So you need to find out weight density of solid and weight density of hollow and compare it. So this is the problem here. So we will go the step by step here. We will follow the data here. Okay. We will see the data and we will try to solve the problem here. So here he is given torques are same. Torques are same. So first we will find out the torques. The torque of solid shaft equal to torque of hollow shaft, right? Torque of hollow shaft. So what is the uh, equation for the torque for a solid shaft here? We derived here. That is pi by 16 tau into b cube where d is the diameter of the solid shaft tau into d cube here okay so this is tau of solid shaft so equal to what is the torque of uh, hollow shaft that is pi by 16 tau of hollow shaft d naught raised to 4 minus di raised to 4 divided by d naught where D0 is outside diameter of hollow shaft, DI is inside diameter of the hollow shaft. So these two are equal, he is given. So now the cancel the terms. This shear stress and this shear stress both are same here. Already he is given the shear stress, maximum shear stress developed in both the shafts are same. So this, this will be cancelled because tau of S equal to tau of the hollow, hollow shaft. Tau okay so we will get here d cube equal to d naught raised to 4 minus di raised to 4 divided by d naught so what is the inside diameter of the hollow shaft in terms of outside diameter he is given that is in inside diameter is two third of outside diameter so this will be equal to d naught raised to 4 minus two third of d naught this is to the power of 4 divided by d naught this is d cube so this will be equal to d naught raised to 4 minus 16 divided by 81 d naught raised to 4 divided by d naught okay so this will be equal to 65 by 81 65 by 81 d naught raised to 4 this will be equal to 65 by 84 d naught raised to 4 divided by d naught so d naught this will be equal to 65 divided by 84 d naught d naught raised to cube here d naught raised to cube this is d this is d to the power of 4 therefore d equal to D equal to 0 0.929 D naught. 0.929 D naught. Okay. So this is the relation between the diameter of the solid shaft and the uh, outside diameter of the hollow shaft here. This we need while substituting in uh, the next equations here. This is one thing here. Next. What is given here? The next one is the we need to find out the uh, weights of the so, uh, solid shaft because we need to compare the weights here. Okay, we need to compare the weights. So we'll write the first. I'll write weight of solid shaft. Weight of solid shaft. equal to weight of solid shaft equal to so weight density weight density of solid shaft 
into volume of solid shaft. So here the density is mass by volume. This is mass by volume and this is volume. Volume volume cancels and mass. Mass in terms of weight. So here weight. 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 Okay. So the weight, uh, weight of the solid shaft equal to weight density of the solid shaft into volume of the solid shaft. So weight density of the solid shaft is the we are denoted by the weight density here into volume. Volume of solid shaft. What is the formula for volume of solid shaft? Pi into area into length right the area is pi into d square its uh, diameter is d pi d square by 4 into l yeah, length of solid shaft okay this is the weight of the solid shaft next i'll write weight of the hollow shaft weight of hollow shaft equal to same formula the weight density of hollow shaft into volume of hollow shaft volume of hollow shaft weight density of uh, hollow shaft is i denoted by the small uh, w of hollow shaft this is hollow shaft into the what is the volume of hollow shaft area into length area into length what is the area area is pi into d naught square minus di square because this is inner inner diameter and outside diameter divided by 4 this is the area into length, length of hollow shaft, length of hollow shaft, okay. So now I want to compare, he is asking the, this, this will be equal to weight of hollow shaft, okay. So I want to compare these two here. So weight density of solid shaft divided, uh, weight weight of solid shaft divided by weight of hollow shaft weight of hollow shaft equal to substitute this is weight density into pi d square by 4 into length of solid shaft divided by weight density of hollow shaft into pi d naught square minus d i square divided by 4 into length of hollow shaft length of hollow shaft okay so now cancel the terms weight density because since the material is same i wrote here the weight density of solid shaft equal to weight density of hollow shaft so these two terms cancels here lengths are same both hollow and solid so these two will cancels that is pi by 4 pi by 4 cancels here so this we will get here d square divided by d naught square minus d i square right this is the ratios the ratios okay now substitute the d the diameter of the solid shaft 0 0.9929 times the d naught here okay that we derive here therefore weight of solid shaft divided by weight of hollow shaft equal to d is 0.929 d naught divided by d naught square minus d i square minus d i square g okay next what is d i he is given the inside diameter is two third of outside diameter of the hollow shaft he is already given in the data here that is also you can substitute here that will be equal to 0.929 d naught divided by d naught square minus uh, two third two third of d naught this is square okay into l this will be okay Now after simplification, these two here, point nine two nine d naught square divided by d naught square minus four by nine d naught square. 
okay so this will be square here this is also square and so this is also square here okay this is square so d not d not square and d not square it will cancels here the finally the ratio we will get here this will be equal to 1 point after simplification 1.55 divided by 1 this is weight of solid shaft divided by weight of hollow shaft therefore weight of solid shaft equal to 1.55 times weight of hollow shaft okay so this is the comparison between the weight of solid shaft and the weight of hollow shaft the solid shaft is 1.5 almost one and a half times the weight of hollow shaft here if the material is same if the length is same the torque is same and the shear stress is same okay so if these all data are same we will get almost the weight of solid shaft is one and a half times the weight of hollow shaft here, okay